Hi, I'm Kenny Sakey, sales consultant over at Creekstone in Oldham County. Creekstone is a newer Pulte community. We actually opened in mid-December of last year. Uh, Steve and I have been open for about three months now. I think we've averaged about eight homes a month, so obviously a highly desirable community in a fantastic part of town. Uh, there's lots of amenities around here in Buckner. Uh, we have the aquatic center right down the streets. Uh, we've got a number of parks, dog parks, golf courses, and eateries. And we're only about a five minute drive to your nearest uh, shopping centers, grocery stores, etc. So uh, I'm gonna take you through a couple of our really popular models today. Uh, that's the Linwood, uh, which is a multi-story home. And then I'll take you through the Ascend as well, which is a very popular ranch plan that we have. All right, let's go. So starting at the front curb, uh, what we're looking at is the front of the Linwood floor plan. Um, of course, we have probably about six to seven different variations of fronts that you can do in all of our Pulte floor plans. This one here is called the Craftsman uh, Elevation. It's got the beautiful columns with stone accents uh, across the bottom and across much of that front uh, bonus area. So let's go inside and take a look at this wonderful floor plan. So as we enter the front door here into the main foyer, uh, immediately to your left you have a flex room as we call it, or some people call it a bonus room. Um, we call it a flex because we'll have uh, customers use this for all sorts of different things. Um, as you can see here we've turned it into a front office with some glass French doors and closing it. It's a really popular feature. Uh, I've actually had people use this as a dining room before or a front playroom for kids. So. That's why we here at Pulte call it a flex room. As we make our way into the main living space, um, if you're familiar with Pulte floor plans, you'll see our uh, floor plans, our niche in the market is really open space. Uh, we don't throw up a bunch of walls everywhere just to say we have a dozen different rooms. This is kind of what the market's in demand right now. Um, so luckily for us, it's been working out really well. So here we have the uh, kitchen with uh, upgraded cabinetry, um, built-in stainless steel appliances, um, granite countertops. Um, here in the center part, we have the cafe area. Um, there's actually an option to extend those lower bank of cabinets and granite uh, over in front of this window. You need some extra cabinet space as well. Now the Linwood has a lot of unique features to it. Uh, one of those I'm gonna point out now this is the only floor plan that we offer here that has vaulted ceilings. Um, so along this first floor, as you walk in, you'll have nine foot ceilings across here, and then it vaults up to about 20 feet. Uh, looks beautiful. I wouldn't want to change those light bulbs by any means, but hey, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> we do offer ceiling fan rough-ins as well. Might be a safer bet if you're afraid of heights. Uh, you can see this view back here is breathtaking. Um, we have a wall of windows here, a clear glass door that leads out to your 12 by 16 deck, and of course Creekstone, and one of the things that makes it really unique is its rolling landscapes. So definitely come by and check us out. So that's your first floor uh, main living area. I'm going to take you down to the game room. This is the included game room that comes with this floor plan. It's a really neat feature. Um, if you want a game room or a media room uh, or just an extra space for the family to hang out, this is perfect. Uh, it's actually a really good size here. Uh, it comes with this kind of crown molding shelf that runs along the wall. Um, we can do recessed lighting down here or a ceiling fan. Um, another thing that makes the Linwood unique is that it's the only floor plan that comes with a basement. Um, now normally this would be unfinished. Uh, we finish this partially because we have our design studio down here. So you have to imagine this unfinished when you come down. And as you can see here, we still have a large portion of this unfinished. Uh, we have our design studio over there. Um, all your utilities are set neatly back in this corridor here. And of course we have our sump pump. Uh, we use uh, 200 amp panels. Um, so you have your breaker box and then actually this white panel over here is something that's really unique for us. It's called your smart home panel. 
So every Pulte home is pre-wired for smart technology. Uh, you have a series of ethernet cables that run through the home and all meet into this box. Um, so it makes it really nice and neat and uh, technologically advanced, if you will. Uh, we offer rough-in plumbing for a very good affordable cost. Down here is a very popular option. Um, again, this wall would normally not be here, nor would this hallway be here. So included in that space I just showed you, you would have the addition space here uh, of this design center. So um, we do offer window egresses for in-ground basements. Um, here at Creekstone, just because of the rolling landscapes, we actually have a lot of walkout basements. So I have seen these floor plans a few times with finished walkout basements, and they are amazing. So we've made our way up from the game room. Just wanted to show you this included space here. Um, this is called a Pulte Planning Center. And it's one of our life tested features. So if you do some light work from home or if you need a homework station for your children, uh, this is a fantastic place for it. It's got a peekaboo window. It kind of overlooks the main living space. Uh, mom and dad can make sure that the little ones are getting their work done while they're prepping dinner and just hanging out watching TV. So. This comes included, this is not an upgrade. And then we have our sort of mudroom entryway. We have a coat closet, a boot bench. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. This is a very popular option that we offer. Of course, if you don't opt for the boot bench, you still have this wall punch out here if maybe you already have a nice piece of furniture that you like to place there. And then we have a simple downstairs powder room here and two car attached garage which of course is our sales office so i'm not going to show you that by the way this floor plan is five levels all together so you have the unfinished basement on the bottom half a uh, floyd up you have the game room half a flight up you have your main living space we're going to go a half a flight up again here and i'm going to take you into your owner suite So this is your owner's suite, owner's bedroom. Uh, this one actually comes with nine foot ceilings. We did the uh, trade ceiling option here, which punches it up to 10 feet in the middle. Beautifully decorated, of course. So off your master suite, you have your master bathroom. Uh, this has the large, what we call bath op five shower, uh, which other than this little curb here is you know, a, a walk-in shower got clear glass panels on a few sides and it is tiled from floor to ceiling as you can see here. We have a uh, water closet or enclosed toilet. Uh, double bowl sinks is something that comes standard in your master bedrooms, master bathrooms here. Um, again, if you, if you upgrade your cabinets in the kitchen, it upgrades your cabinets throughout the entire home so all your bathrooms will all match. And we have our walk-in closet, it's a pretty good size. Now, if you're not into the large car wash shower and you want something a little bit more petite, uh, we also do a smaller version of this shower for half the cost. And we're gonna head up to our fifth and final floor. As you can see, we've got spindles at the top of the staircase and you just look over your gathering room area and look at all those windows that is amazing another kind of unique thing that our company does is with our multi-story plans we always put our laundry rooms on the top floor obviously this just means less walking for mom and dad or the kids maybe even if they're helping out with laundry um, but you can see here washing drying taking your clothes bedroom here bedroom here and your third bedroom is right there. So definitely less walking and much easier. We've got two spacious spare bedrooms here on the top floor, both of them with very large walk-in closets. We have a shared bathroom here with traditional tub shower. Uh, this one is set up with a single bowl and a vanity space, uh, but we do offer double bowl sinks in here. Another kind of unique feature in here you probably can't hear it as it's running very, very low. It's a very soft sound. But we actually have this energy efficient feature, this secondary fan in your bathroom runs continuously. And that's because our homes are so airtight. We want to keep 
at least a little bit of air moving uh, throughout the day. And so that fan actually runs all the time at a very slow energy efficient speed and kind of pulls air through the floor plan. Here's our last bedroom here, and this one is a really good size. Great for maybe a couple little ones to share. As you can see, they set it up with bunk beds. And I mentioned those, you know, large walk-in closets, so I'm gonna show you this one right here. Plenty of space here. Now this floor plan, as you can tell, has a lot of natural light in it. And these spindles, um, while they are upgrade, absolutely make a huge difference uh, when you're building this thing. It just really flows. So that's the Linwood. Uh, again, it's a, a really nice spin on a split level that Pulte's come up with. Um, I find that it's a really great, fun family house. Have a lot of young startup families buying it. Um, and of course, the kids just absolutely love it. So. Let's uh, take a turn into a little bit different style into our ranch home, The Ascend, and uh, I promise you, you won't be disappointed.